President Trump's nominee to be the next drug czar has withdrawn his nomination after a 60 Minutes report revealed that he wrote a bill that tied the DEA's hands in fighting the opioid epidemic. Correspondent Mola Lenke has more now from the White House. Congressman Tom Marino withdrew his name to be the next head of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency. President Trump tweeted this morning, Representative Tom Marino has informed me that he is withdrawing his name from consideration as drug czar. Tom is a fine man and a great congressman. He told me, look, if there's even a perception that he has a conflict of interest, he doesn't want anything to do with it. Marino came under intense scrutiny after a 60 Minutes report showed that a bill he sponsored tied the DEA's hands in fighting the opioid drug epidemic. The bill passed unanimously last year. When DEA signs off and the DOJ signs off and Democrats and Republicans sign off together, it's not unusual for something like this to roll through without much fanfare. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill has introduced legislation to repeal the law. President Trump says he is committed to fighting the opioid epidemic and plans to declare a national emergency. It's a very important step. And to get to that step, a lot of work has to be done, and it's time-consuming work. We're going to be doing it next week, okay? As part of the war on opioids, Tuesday morning, the Department of Justice announced indictments against two Chinese nationals who allegedly used the Internet to sell fentanyl to drug traffickers and individuals in the U.S. Mola Lenghi for CBS3 Eyewitness News.